Anytime you see someone achieving consistent success, guess what? It's not a mistake. It's a product of knowledge, strategy, the right systems, and many more. Hello there. Happy New Year to you. Welcome to Get Empowered with Willie Manx, the very first episode in the year 2024. And I'm sure that you are already excited because I am. Every new year starts with lots of aspirations, desires, and hopes. Everyone keeps their hopes and aspirations very high and want the year to be an amazing one. But sadly, very few people are able to achieve their new year goals. Statistics prove that 23% of people will quit their New Year goals by the first week of January, 43% will quit by the end of January, and 80% will quit in February. Meanwhile, only about 8% are likely to stick to their New Year goals till the end of the year. So what are the possible reasons why these things occur? Anytime you see someone achieving consistent success, guess what? It's not a mistake. It's a product of knowledge, strategy, the right systems, and many more. In the 2010 UEFA Champions League semi-finals, Inter Milan played against Barcelona in Stadio San Siro. Apparently, most people supported Barcelona to win the game, and so no one was surprised when Pedro Rodriguez scored a first goal against Inter Milan. But by the time the game was over, Inter Milan defeated Barcelona by three goals to one. That was really unbelievable. Exactly four years later, Jose Mourinho, who was the Inter Milan chief coach during that period, explained how he won the game. The documentary explained how Mourinho understood Barcelona, their tactical play, strengths, and weaknesses, and then developed a strategy to win the game. Even the strategy developed by Mourinho proved that it was obvious they were going to win with a minimum of three goals. We just need to be really compact and don't give them too much space. And we must be mentally strong to cope with, uh, with that. Let them have the ball, but not creating uh, many chances for us. The second part of the plan was exactly how to hurt them. We need to win the match, we need to score goals. This was just an example to show that no one succeeds by mistake. Success can be explained. Here are some reasons why New Year goals are not achieved. First of all, People set goals that they cannot achieve. Sometimes, failure in life makes us want to achieve success overnight. Success is a process. When you set a big goal that is beyond your reach, it demotivates you after a short period of time. A big goal can be very captivating, but over time, it can overwhelm you and demoralize you instantly. Learn to set small and achievable goals. Secondly, people only write their goals down without converting them into pictures. Writing the goals in your notebook alone is not advisable. Convert your goals into pictures and put them in a place where they can easily be seen every day. What you see daily will definitely alter your thinking process. Your mind then processes the information as something which is achievable and thereby helping you take practical steps each day to accomplish it. Check episode 2 where I taught on vision boards. Habakkuk 2 verses 2 to 3 says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables, that he may run who reads it. For the vision is here for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Thirdly, people don't break down their yearly goals into smaller, daily, and weekly plans. You need to break down your goals into months, weeks, days, and even hours. A New Year resolution will require that you adjust your daily and weekly schedules. If your daily and weekly schedules do not align with your New Year resolutions, it's practically evident that you won't be able to achieve anything. Albert Einstein said, 
Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expressing different results. New results will require new ways of doing things. Also, people neglect the importance of having an accountability partner. It's very vital to have an accountability partner who is willing to query you and see whether or not you are achieving your goals. An accountability partner is not afraid to expose your weaknesses and potential mistakes you are making in relation to your goals. An accountability partner will put you on your toes in order to help you achieve your goals. Furthermore, people do not build the right systems to foster the achievement of their goals. Goals can never be achieved if you don't have the right systems built around you which compel you to achieve your goals. For example, if you are planning to save a specific amount of money for the year, let's say $12,000, communicate with your bank so that each time your salary enters into your account, $1,000 is deducted automatically into a specific account where it can never be accessed until the end of the year. A system is simply having a structure to ensure you achieve your dreams and goals in life. Lastly, I would like to say that in order to actually achieve your goals, you need to ask for divine guidance and wisdom. God in his infinite wisdom can give you special ideas or guidance when things don't work out as planned. The book of Isaiah chapter 55, reading from verses 8 to 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Dear friends, it's my desire that you don't just have goals for 2024, but you eventually achieve them. So doing a recap of what we discussed today, here are the things that you need to consider to ensure your 2024 goals are achieved. 1. Learn to set small and achievable goals. 2. Convert your goals into pictures and put them in a place where they can easily be seen every day. 3. Adjust your daily and weekly schedules by breaking down your goals into months, weeks, days, and even hours. 4. Have an accountability partner. 5. Build the right systems around you. 6. Ask God for divine guidance and wisdom. Thank you for staying tuned to the end. Get Empowered is getting more powerful by the week, so you can't afford to miss our next episode. Till then, have a productive week, stay empowered. <laughs>